Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Fry, the consultant in clinical neurophysiology. In this video, I'm going to show what the difference is between normal jitter and abnormal jitter, such as we would see in myasthenia gravis or other neuromuscular junction transmission disorders. I'm going to be demonstrating a stimulator technique where I stimulate the facial nerve and record muscle fiber activity from the orbicularis oculi using a very fine facial needle in order to detect the stimulated potentials. Of course, by the very nature of this technique, we're going to be recording from any number of differently innervated muscle fibers, depending on what's being stimulated. And we're going to be recording the jitter against the electrical spike of stimulation. Now in normal neuromuscular junctions, there will always be some minimal jitter. Importantly, the human ear has difficulty differentiating sounds which are occurring less than 35 microseconds apart. Now, the normal upper limit of normal of individual stimulated jitter values for the orbicularis oculi is about 37 microseconds, which effectively means that you hear a uniform sound as the muscles are stimulated in near synchrony in healthy normal neuromuscular junctions. I'm now going to walk you through what we will be seeing here. You can see on the screen a set of three stimulated potentials. They're all occurring at pretty much the same synchronous timing. And you can only really hear one sound, da 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 which is very regular and is in time with the stimulation spike. You can also appreciate a little bit of jiggle here, which is normal, which is the minimal jitter, which I've talked about in normal, healthy neuromuscular junctions. Let's move on to abnormal neuromuscular junctions now. So here they have larger jitter values above 37 microseconds. And so one's hearing separation of distinct potentials now. Furthermore, as jitter values approach 80 microseconds, one starts to hear and see block and one's hearing a dysrhythmic response to stimulation. Let me walk you through an example of this. So first of all, you can see in the screen the stimulation spike. And you can see very, very clearly if we start by looking at the top tracing that all these potentials, these stimulated potentials are jittering all over the place. And then if you focus down on the main window here, you can see that very, very, very clearly. I'm now going to focus in on a single one of these stimulated potentials and you'll be able to see very clearly how it's jittering away. And you can really hear its dysrhythmic nature. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do support the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Many thanks and I hope to see you on the next video shortly.